I'm back for a part two to this cleaning up my my figure collection page goods category. I'm recording part two the same day as I recorded part one because I guess you could say I'm on a roll and <laughs> let's just get this over with, okay? Let's, last video, I <laughs> my goal was to at least get to like a hundred and something wished items. We only got to 200. <laughs> we kept most of the stuff. And I also rambled on about why I wanted to keep certain things more than I rambled on about why I didn't want to keep certain other things. Um, so we're gonna try to zoom through this faster and not talk as much. Um, or I'll explain but not explain as much. Um, so hopefully this video goes a little faster than the last one. But yeah, right now we are at 200 wished items. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get started. We have this Aaron Yeager Pita Nui. I think it is, he's so cute, but let me just say, I think with these types of dolls, I need to be more picky about, um, just because, I don't know, I think they're super cute and they're super fun to have, but I only have a limited space of where <laughs> I can, like, have them hang on to certain parts of my room and I know there's like a keychain to them but I don't know I feel like that I feel like hanging them with like the little keychain that they come with defeats the purpose of the actual doll what the doll's supposed to do right like but I really think he's super cute but I feel like I need to be more picky about these so I think as much as it pains me I'm going to remove he is so cute though. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove Aaron. Okay, <laughs> so we were off to a great start, but now I'm keeping like this. Uh, this is a cute ass. I don't know what it is. He looks so, he, so squishable. This Vanitas plushie, I think he's so cute. I, I, I love him, I'm keeping him. He is adorable. And then um, there's also a Noe version that is super cute. And I've seen, I've seen Noe go up more than I've seen the, the Vanitas one. I don't know if I wanna buy Noe if I can't have Vanitas and vice versa. Like I would have that same issue if I found like a bunch of Vanitas and no Noe, but like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I will get Noe even if I can't find Vanitas, but even when I find Vani the Vanitas one, it's like so unnecessarily expensive. So we're gonna keep those. So this is a beautiful, like this is like one of the more recent Noragami merch that has come out, which I'm still so shocked that we're getting Noragami merch all of a sudden. I, and I think it's because the manga is coming to an end. This is a Yato keychain. And with that, there is this Yato and Hiyori. So these are like the same keychains, but like different variations of them. There are also like acrylic stands and like photo cards of the same art. Um, there's also a Bishamon and uh, Yukine. There's just different variations. I have this keychain with all three of them, Yato, Hiyori, and Yukine. And then I have two more, I think, at work. And I think they're, I want to say they're with, maybe I have one more at work. And I think it's just Yukine and Hiyori. I only have this on my wish list, I think, because I have Hiyori and Yukine, and it would have made more sense for, for me at least. I would have liked it better if it was just Hiyori and Yato, but I'm okay. I have one of all three of them together. I think that's enough. I also have the acrylic stands with all three of them, and I have, yeah, I have like one other variation that I was talking about with Hiyori and Yukine. I think that's good enough. Um, these are recent, so I don't want to remove these, but they are Vanitas, uh, case study of Vanitas acrylic charms, and I think they're adorable. I have seen them go up for sale, but for some reason they're extremely expensive, and I don't well, I could guess because it's Quesadilla and Vanitas and like they barely get any attention. And also I believe the manga just came out of hiatus. So I I'm guessing that's why. But still, it's like so ridiculous to make it so expensive. I think they're like, I've seen them for $50. I'm like, for a piece of like acrylic that's gonna like break, that can snap into, not worth it. Yeah, I just really want them and I'll keep them, but I'm not, I'm not gonna pay a ridiculous amount for them. So I want to keep this one too, but I kind of want to, I haven't gotten the chance. I want to go on like YouTube and just like search up 
how this thing works and what features it has. I don't know if it just kind of glows like on the in the photo or it actually makes noise or whatever. I know this wand is um, simpler in terms of like when comparing it to like other magical girl wands that exist, right? It looks a little cheaper too, like the gold material. Um, it doesn't have that actual like metallic shine that like the Sailor Moon Poplicas have, let's say. So I'm super, I don't know, I'm more curious about this, but I do want a Madoka Magica like wand. That would be great. That would be awesome. So like I'm, I, I want to see, before I remove it um, or buy it too, I want to learn more about it, you know? And they've got one for each of the girls. I can remove this. This is a Blue Spring Ride oil blotting sheet. And this is one of those things where, again, there's no merch of this besides like the manga, let's say, or like, I don't know, really like, really like throwaway goods almost that exist of this series. Um, and so this was like me adding like this to my wish list and other stuff of this series just as an excuse to like get something of it. Um, it's not something I really need. I mean, even if I bought this oil blotting paper, I would never use it, of course. Um, so I also really, I think the other thing that like really caught my attention from this is the artwork. I love this like, I love this manga. I don't, I don't remember her name, but I, I love this manga cause like art style so much. It gives me so. It, it gives me such nostalgic vibes. It uh, it warms my heart. Um, and it reminds me, reminds me of spring, but also reminds me of like summer break and like binging shoujo anime and reading, binge reading shoujo manga, like this one, or like, I don't know if you guys know the manga. I don't, it, I don't think it gets as much attention. It never got an anime either, but it got a live action movie. It's called Strobe Edge. And it is one of the very few manga that I have the complete set of. Yeah, but I can remove this. And hopefully I can find something better from this series, you know? <laughs> this photo is super small, but this is a Momo Mikoshiba from Free Earphone Jack. I don't even know how this works. I added this and I don't even get it. <laughs> oh, earphone jack accessory. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing you can plug it into your phone, like as like, like a charm thing kind of like it, it plugs into your headphone jack but also if you don't want to you can even have it like displayed as like little figures which is actually really cool i've never heard of that and i love this i love that they used like the little clips from the ending of the of this show i mean like yeah if i were to get this i would have to keep it displayed like this because our our, our phones don't have headphone jacks anymore unfortunately but i also really don't need it too so we can remove it um, next up, I know we can remove this one. This is a Game Boy Color, but it is Cardcaptor Sakura themed. That's the only reason why I wanted it. I have no Game Boy games, <laughs> so um, we, can, we, we can remove it. I've also seen it sell like super expensive too. This is a mini Shikishi board of Vanitas and Noe from the Case Study of Vanitas. I am just obsessed well, I love shikishi boards in general, but the case study of Vanitas ones are so gorgeous. Like I'm already in love with Jun Mochizuki's artwork of them, like in general, like in the manga itself too. But like, the, like shiki, I don't know. I don't know what it is with shikishi boards. They almost feel like, I know they're like autograph boards, but I don't know. The like material and everything makes it feel like I don't know something expensive something nice to have right instead of getting like these plain like photo cards i don't know i don't, I don't know if that made sense i'm gonna keep this this is so cool um i think they're so cute i love how silly vanitas looks and how <laughs> angry noe looks or annoyed i feel like usually it's the other way around right but yeah i i love it cute we're keeping it also if you guys can let me know in the comments how do you display your shikishi boards right now i use like an easel and display them like <laughs> on like any shelf or flat surface that i uh, have like space for but i know that can like <laughs> that can take up a lot, lot of space and you can quickly run out of room doing that 
So if, if you hang your shikishi, shikishi boards, let me know how you hang them where you're not getting, you're not messing up the back with like tape or whatever. Cause I, I want to hang them up, but like I, I'm scared I'm going to ruin them <laughs> um, if I like tape it on the back. Okay, next up, I actually really want to keep these. These are Hibike Euphonium acrylic stands. So I have one of Kumiko. I have this one of Reina. I mean, they are gorgeous. Like I've seen really cute acrylic stands before, but like, I feel like these just stand out so much. They're just, I, I cannot, ex the colors, the like way the instrument shines, I, I'm like obsessed. And the characters themselves are already super cute. So like that makes it like 20 times better, but like, the dress, everything, oh my god, they, they look so pretty. And I do not own anything of PBK Euphonium, unfortunately. So yeah, I, I really want these, but I think when I added these to my wish list, I went looking for them and they're super expensive. They're like ridiculously priced, uh, at least at the time when I, I found them. Um, so I never ended up getting them. I said I would come back and look for them and I never did, so I'm gonna have to do that at some point, but we are keeping them. Okay, this is, I forgot I had this on my wish list, but I think I'll keep this too. This is a shikishi board of Black Butler. I only have one Black Butler shikishi board. That's another mangaka artist that I really love is Yana Kagoso. Gorgeous artwork, but this is on the cuter side and I love this like pink and white stripe pattern and I love that Elizabeth is in it. Yeah, I think I'll keep this. We have another acrylic stand. Uh, this is of, oh, I love her. So this is Alba and Co from New Game and it's an acrylic stand. I forgot that I even had this on here to be honest. Um, super cute and I love Ko as a character. She's one of my favorites in that series. I think I love it because she's with Ko and it's them two together and I know that's her like mentor, but I think I can live without it to be honest. Okay, this is a mini plastic strawberry bell wand from Tokyo Mew Mew. I have the original strawberry bell wand, which I cannot believe that I have still. So, and I also have like the mini recent one that came out, I think in like one of the Tokyo Mew Mew anniversaries. I wanna say I wanna keep this, but also I I think I'm okay with what I have now. I'm my, my main goal was to get the like original one and I have it and then I have the anniversary one like I said so I think I'm okay with not having this one. I think I can live without it. There are other ones that I want too more than this. Okay so far we're doing so much better removing things <laughs> than we did before. Um, however I think I'm gonna keep these next ones. Okay so these are just little bromides but they are um, from the wonderful beautiful movie Stranger by the Shore. Actually, I think I'm gonna end up removing this because I think the only reason I added it, yes, I think the art is like beautiful, but it's also, I don't know. I don't, th I think I can live without it though. Um, I think there are other Stranger by the Shore merch that I have in my wish list that I might want more. Oh, but the art is just so pretty. <sighs> okay, I will actually remove it for now. <laughs> I have this Miku. It's a an acrylic stand. Even though I love the pink and the like polka dot patterns going on and it looks really cute. From looking at the thumbnail for some reason, I thought it was like an Easter themed thing. And I was like, why do I have a holiday themed thing in my wish list? Cause I don't really collect holiday themed stuff um, when it comes to like anime merch, I think. I want to say watch me have like one or two things and not even realize it um, But like typically I don't but this isn't that but it's super cute But also I can also just appreciate it from looking at it like this. You know what I mean? Like I I Think I'm okay without it also when it comes to like Miku stuff or Vocaloid stuff in general But especially Miku I feel like you have to be really picky because stuff with her character can add up so quickly and they're just like constantly making stuff of Niku where there's always gonna be that like cute item of her that you want it's just never ending so I yeah I think I think I can 
I mean, I forgot about it till now anyway, so clearly I could live without it. Okay, next up we have these Black Butler illustration cards. And the ones I have on my wish list are CL and Vincent. Who the hell are these people? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can live without it. All my stuff that I have is like colorful too. So like these like grayed out photos, I feel like won't really, maybe they will match still my collection because I have some stuff that that's on the duller side of being colored. But I don't know, I can, I feel like I can live without these. Okay, I have this replica of this wand from Creamy Mommy. While I love that they made a replica of this, I'm a little disappointed in it because it doesn't have the original colors as the series. And the there is an original that exists that they made what, like a, a long time ago, one of those like vintage rare ones that I really wanted, but they're super expensive and super hard to find, and, you know, that whole shipping. So I was gonna settle for this one, but like the color just pisses me off so bad because I'll, I'll put a photo of what like the original one looks like and then there's this one. I'm guessing the goal was to make it more like, I don't know, elegant looking or like more expensive looking, but like I feel like it took away a lot of the nostalgia, right? I don't know. So we're gonna remove it. We're actually gonna remove it. Next up we have two Bungo, I have a lot of Bungo, I have a lot of like the same series, so I apologize. We have this Bungo Stray Dogs uh, Dazai collaborations with Sweets Paradise. I don't know how tall this thing is, but I think he's, it's pretty small, which I hate small truck stands, but I have a few things that sold me on this. One was, of course, it's Dazai. Two, it's, cafe themed. I'm a sucker for cafe themed stuff. And three, I am loving the ponytail. I, I love it. I love it so much. I love the hair. I think it's so, and, and the little wink. I really wish it said how big this thing was, but I really think it is small, which I hate. Oh, it literally says big acrylic stand right there. I am keeping it. Next up, we have this acrylic stand of Chuya. This I actually recently added. I love, okay, this is like in general. I love when they like take anime characters from like different series and put them in like clothes that like you would never see them wearing in the actual series. But this like engineered Chuya thing, like I can imagine him fixing his motorcycle that he got from Albatross in this like whole situation it just looks so good i love this this would also look really good as a poster which i think does exist i think i've like ran into it before I, but i can't remember i know there's like a huge like towel of it that exists maybe that's what i'm thinking about but yeah okay i'm keeping this but i can never find this i love this so much i feel like this is such a unique acrylic stand for this series. I'm just surprised that this exists. But again, I can never find it for the life of me. Every time I look up Noragami merch, this never shows up. Yeah, I, I would love to have this. It came out in 2018. I hate the base though. I think it's ugly, but I understand that it looks like that because that's Studio Bones' logo. Oh my God. We have another acrylic stand. Surprise, surprise. This is of Tomoko from Watamote. I have a different Tomoko acrylic stand that I think is cuter. I'm okay with not having this one. I am. <laughs> I am okay with it. Okay, so this is the other Stranger by the Shore merch that I, I said I had on my wish list that I really like. I love this like goofy illustration of them. I feel like it matches them so well, but also, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you gave this to anime, I feel like for me at least, like if you were to give me this and you didn't tell me that it was Stranger by the Shore merch and you asked me who these character were, characters were, I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to tell you, but I really like it. I really like it. Maybe I could tell. I want to say that I could tell, but I also don't know if that's true. Um, so unfortunately, I'm gonna remove it. Can we just like get figures of them instead? So this is f an acrylic stand of Kambe and Haru from The Millionaire Detective. I had just finished watching the series. This is my problem. I watch a series and I really love it. And the first thing I do is I go 
go on my figure collection and see what kind of merch they have and it, because I'm still in that high from watching the series I'll take anything at that point point. and now I'm looking at this and I'm like I really don't want this I really don't need it it's cute but it's also nothing special you know so I'm gonna remove it <laughs> this is so cute so these are acrylic clips and the reason why I have this on my wish list really obviously Chuya super cute and I love the colors too like I love it um but I bought something I don't know what I bought I bought some I think I bought like a Bungo Stray Dogs enamel pen and the seller that sold it to me added like a freebie and it was actually one of these clips but it was of Yosano and I love it so much I think it's so cute and I have her like clipped on my lanyard for work and I, I think Chuyos is so cute I don't know but okay now I'm like am I really gonna get it no I mean do I want to yes but should I probably not I mean I, I have Yosano um which I also think that's like my only piece of Yosano merch but I there are other like Bungo Stray Dog stuff that I want more than this so even though I recently added it on here I'm gonna remove it next up we have more millionaire detective balance unlimited anime acrylic stamps <sighs> they look so good here I'm not gonna get it I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I think it's cute but I'm not super obsessed that's how I'll put it so I'm gonna take this one out same with this actually I like the other one even more I feel like this is just I don't know bland so I'm gonna remove it okay now this this is stranger by the shore but I like this one so much better because you can actually tell who the characters are and they're not in this like different art style um, I really like the other art style style too but I think their character designs are they're not too anime defaulty looking but also you can kind of mistaken them for like different characters as well which if you have them in like this art style their original art style I think you can tell more of who the, who they are does that make any sense um but also I'm not super obsessed with it either I feel like there there's got to be other stranger by the shore merch that's much better than these so I'm gonna have to skip out uh Hori Mia acrylic stands so there's one of Hori and there's one of Mia Muda and they go together you know it was cute and uh, the idea of it was cute but and at the time I thought it was super cute as well and again it was one of those things I had just finished watching the series and I think I jumped the gun too fast and added it to my wish list but I don't actually really want it and I've changed my mind even though I love these guys together but I feel like there are cuter ones out there too okay so now there are these banana fish uh well this is ag i have one of ash as well they're like these banana fish acrylic stands and i think they're super cute too i think for ash he's like a pizza delivery guy and they're like part-time job themed i'm not really sure what ag is maybe like a doggy daycare worker i don't know i really don't know but i think they're just super cute nonetheless i love this little illustration art style and I feel like with this one it works more than it does with like the stranger by the shore ones I, I feel like also banana fish is more known than stranger by the shore maybe too where I don't know I, I feel like you can distinguish these characters more than you can distinguish stranger by the shore characters right I don't maybe that's just me but also this has got like the whole New York theme going on so you can tell even more that it's banana fish yeah I'm gonna keep these I think they're super cute also there's not I don't have a lot of banana fish merch I think I only have one piece of banana fish merch which kind of sucks but um, yeah so we will keep these for now I guess um, we have these obey me acrylic stands um, in like the bunny suits I have like a couple obey me acrylic stands I don't know why I have all of them all the obey me characters on here but I think I'm okay with just having Mammon since he's my favorite. I think maybe I'll keep Mammon for now, but I will remove the rest of the characters. Oh, but I like him too. I'll keep him too because he's my second favorite. Okay, so this is an acrylic stand of Yato's shrine that Hiyori made him. 
I love it so much and I think, I actually don't know how big this thing is. It's like two inches. I want to keep this on my wishes. I need something of Yato's shrine that I can, I, I want a little section for Yato somewhere like where I can have all my Noragami stuff and give him like his own little shrine. It'd be so cute and I think having like one of these I know there are some people on Etsy that actually build like actual wooden ones like Hyori gave him. I don't know. So I'll either get that or I'll get this. I haven't decided. So for now, I'll keep this on my wish list. Uh, these are just acrylic stands of Vanitas and Noe that I think are so goofy and silly. And I really, oh, I didn't even notice Murr was there. I really love it. I love these like, they look like mochi. I, that's that's the best way I can describe them is they look like mochi when they're drawn like this and they're just so cute and squishable and I just I love them and I'm <laughs> gonna keep them <laughs> again because I'm so obsessed with this cafe theme and this cafe and cafe stuff and I love coffee so much you guys <laughs> um this is another muddler or like stir but it's of oh my god it's of Yoru from Shugo Kiara and I love Yoru and I love Ikuta. I think I'll keep this. I don't know if I'm actually gonna go ahead and like get it or anything. Obviously there is other stuff that I would rather have, but I also really want this, but I don't, it's like one of those things that I'm like, I'm not gonna chase after it, but if I happen to come across it, I will get it. Okay, I'm gonna skip through a few. So this is a heart badge and typically I don't collect or, well, I do have a few, but I try not to collect badges because I never know how to display them and I don't want to I don't know it really depends I'm like really picky with badges but I really love this one because again I love this illustration of Yato so much and I love how it's like a Yato day themed one and I love that it's heart shaped and I love this like pattern in the back so I, I think I'm, and I know I have the same illustration in like different variations of merch but I also really like this um, and I suck at choosing. I really can never choose like I can never just pick one thing So I'm gonna keep this for now, but I have this one and I think it's super cute But I, I can remove this one. I like I like I like the other one The first version better. This is a recent piece of merch as well more recent than the other ones And it's like one of those I think lottery type of merch where you never know what you're gonna get I think I'm not sure but I love this i think it's so cute i love that they're all together and that's mainly the reason why i wanted it but i love this illustration at the same time i know there's like a bromide of it too so i'm kind of in between whether i want the bromide or the acrylic stand so i, I have this for now okay i can actually this is actually something i also recently added to my wish list uh it's of dazai and chia at 15. i love this only because like you get to see them really be kids here and i love the colors in here and i love the whole scene and i, I love this arc so much but i don't know if i want an acrylic panel of it i think if i were to get something with this scene i think i'd want it to be just like a little bromide or a little illustration card or maybe even like a shikishi board which i don't think they have of but i think they have a bromide i'm not sure i might be making that up or maybe it was a clear file which i hate but um, so I think I'll remove it and if they don't have it in other merch form I then I just I get I won't get it I guess okay so next I have two wands from two different magical girls shows so this is from Sailor Moon and it is the pink moon stick it is Chibi Usa's wand and I really want it I really want it however I actually really want the proplica more so I think I'm gonna remove this one and just try to find the proplica because I even though it's nice to have this one because it's like, it has that vintage touch to it, right? Um, and it's like the original. I, I do like the Proplica better. I think it looks much better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out. And I like the packaging of this too, because it's very nostalgic. But I, I think I'll still go for the Proplica. So we're gonna remove this one. And this is Yu's Pendant from Creamy Mommy. I don't think, this isn't the like official like wand version. I think it's just like a little, yeah, it's a little pendant. So we're removing it. Okay, we got a ton more wands, so I'm gonna speed through the wands, all right? This is a, another Tokyo Mew Mew wand. I think it like showed up closer to the end of the series, at least in the original 2000s anime. It's the Mew Aqua Rod, and I don't know, I don't remember if this thing makes any noise or anything like the Strawberry Bell does. I'm assuming it does, but I could be wrong. I'm also 
really happy with just having the strawberry bell. I think I'll keep it in my wish list. See, this is the issue. <laughs> I think I'll keep it in my wish list. You know what? No, I think I'll remove it. I think there are other ones that I want more and I really like the strawberry bell that I have. So yeah, I think I can remove this. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all the Sailor Moon ones that I have on here because I, I pretty much want all of the Sailor Moon proplicas. I think they're all stunning. I think they're all cu cute and I want them all. Sailor Moon is like one of the ones where like I want almost every wand of. So I'm, I can save us some time and just say they're all staying on my wish list. And, and with the Sailor Moon wands, I don't mind if they're like the brilliant edition or the, the original edition. I don't really care. I would prefer the brilliant edition just because it's the newer version. And I think they're, um, I think they're supposed to be like better quality. But if I have to settle for like the first version of the uh, Proplicas, I'm okay with that too. Not a big deal. Um, but this Ojimacho Dore Mi wand, uh, I have the original one, but I don't know what happened to these. I don't know if these got canceled, but these are Proplicas that Bandai was supposed to, Premium Bandai was supposed to make. And it's just been sitting here with no updates. So if anybody is an Ojimajo Dore Mi fan and knows what's going on with this, please let me know. Um, and with that being said, I still want this one because even though I have the original, I, I just think having a Proplica version it would also be super cool. Sailor Moon wands. Um, I do have some like original Sailor Moon wand toys that aren't Proplicas in here. So those are all gonna get removed. Like this one, for example. So I'm gonna take these out. Um, I don't need the kids toy ones. I'm much happier with having like proplicas. This is a Sailor Moon eyeliner. I think it's so cute. So ColourPop <laughs> did a collaboration with Sailor Moon and I have the, the full collection, I believe, of that. So I'm okay with not having this like eyeliner. Okay, I'm trying to like speed through this. Um, this, I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know why I added it on my wish list. I was, I don't know, I was in, I was in some kind of high, some Tokyo Mew Mew high, and um, I added, I don't know what it does, I know nothing about it, and I'm going to remove it. Um, okay, let's see, I'm like speeding through these. Um, I have card capture Sakura wands on here that I really want, and I know are super expensive too, so I have this one, this star wand, and I have the the cloud card ones, where I think these are the ones where if you put the wand on the card, it like makes noise, or I don't know, plays something from like the series, and I think that's super cool, and I really want it, but I never know, because there are like different variations of these like wands, and I never know which one's the right one, and also they're super expensive, so. They're on my wish list for now. This video is getting so long, so I'm sorry if I'm like talking fast all of a sudden, um, but I'm trying to speak through these. This is like the last page. Um, these Obami acrylic stands, are they got to go. Uh, I don't need them, I don't play the game anymore. I just really like Mammon and Satan, and that's about it. And I have um, I have a couple Obey or a few Obami merchandise and acrylic stands. So I'm, I'm good with not getting these. Let's see, let's open up like these last few things. Oh, my battery's also dying. So hopefully it doesn't die on me while I'm recording. Okay. This is a Blue Spring Ride notebook. I'm gonna take this one out. Uh, just an excuse, this was just an excuse to have Blue Spring Ride merch. Don't really need this. Never going to use a notebook, obviously. Maybe I can use the like, just display it with the cover, but also then just get like a, a printed photo from like Redbubble or something of the two, right? Like, I don't know. I just don't see a point in having this, at least not for me. So we're gonna remove this. These are from the anime Orange, which if you have not watched Orange, literally such a good series, you guys need to go watch it. Um, there's no merch of it though. So I put in these, like like a, like, a, like the silly goose I am, I put these um, sticker sheets that literally don't even have the characters except, oh yeah, they do. <laughs> but like, what am I gonna do with it? I'm taking them out. Okay, now I have like a bunch of these Noragami postcards. Uh, I have that one. I have this one, which I really like. I think it's super cute. And I have this one. I think the only one I'm gonna keep though is this one because I love this candid shot. 
with this cat and Yato on the phone, grocery sh shopping. He doesn't even look like a god. Oh, he never looks like a god, but like, I just think <laughs> he looks like, <laughs> he looks so goofy and I love him here. So I'm gonna, and again, with this like watercolor aesthetic, I'm gonna keep this one. This million dollar detective merch, I don't even like it. I think it's ugly. I don't know why I have it, I'm gonna remove it. Okay, 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 just a few more. This is a Horinia postcard. I only wanted it because of the art, but I think I'm okay with not having it just because I have the Horinia art book. The art in there is just so much more prettier, so I don't think I see a point in getting this. Case study of Vanitas art. I really like it. I think it's so cute. I love, I love how bright Vanitas looks here, but I think I'm actually gonna remove this. Uh, yeah, just because I have other postcards that I think are so much prettier and I have a lot of shikishi boards of him and I'm sure in the future they're gonna come up with like even prettier art than this one even though this one's super pretty but I'm gonna hold off on this one. I also like the ones where he's with Noe as well so we're gonna remove this unfortunately except for this one. <laughs> I know I just said that I would rather have Noe with him but this one is so... I don't know, this one feels like different. You know, I think it's the snow and I think it's like the expression and it feels, it feels bright but it also feels very dark. The colors are still somewhat lively but also not and, and the emotion in here gives off a different vibe. I might be just talking out of my ass but I think I want to keep this one. <laughs> All right, so let's see where we're at. We are at 144 wished items in the goods category which I really, I actually genuinely thought we would end up with less but i guess it's so much easier to add goods to your wish list and accumulate that much onto your wish list than it is with figures because figures i think you need to be a little bit more picky but i mean i have 144 here and on my figures wish list i have 116 so it's, it's still a lot but i really expected to have less on my wish list but i mean i probably won't end up getting a lot of these anyway and i'll end up changing my mind again in the future but um oh i ended up missing a couple of things okay my computer is about to explode can you hear that um this is uh obey me acrylic stand again we do not need the acrylic stands um and then this is sailor moon makeup with eyeliner which i don't wear eyeliner really barely anymore um this is i hate when the photos are so tiny but this is a badge of obey me i don't need this is an acrylic puzzle i don't know why i added this we're gonna remove it and then this is an obey me acrylic panel which i don't need because i have the acrylic stand diorama of this art so let's 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 see where we're at now 139 again still a lot but i feel better but yeah that, it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> some of the stuff i'm currently looking for to buy so that's gonna end up going from my wish to my own which will take a few numbers down but yeah anyways sorry i had to speed through the end of the video my battery is dying so i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you think in the comment section below please consider subscribing your support means a lot and i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys